Hello my friends. So today I just wanted to read to you a short essay that I just wrote, and um, I don't think it needs any introduction, so I'm just going to jump right into it. It's called A Fully Actualized Screwdriver and the Paradox of Abundance. Hello my friends. Today I came across an interesting channel on YouTube called AVE that reviews tools and whatnot. And he was showcasing a beautiful titanium screwdriver that he had custom made. And this screwdriver was, it was designed after these pictures of rare vintage screwdrivers uh, that were sent to him by another YouTuber who restores antique tools. So all of these things kind of came together in order for this screwdriver to be made. And it is probably the best damn screwdriver that could be made. It's made of titanium, which is probably the lightest, most durable, and toughest metals in existence. It's set in a beautiful wood handle. The design was hand-picked out of thousands and thousands that are available and it was handcrafted with the utmost precision. And this level of perfection is only possible because of the super abundance of knowledge and resources available to us today. However, AVE points out the opposite of this perfected screwdriver in the video as well. The as close to worthless as possible disposable screwdriver, which is the most common average screwdriver available. Here's, here's the clip of him talking about it. So you see what we're doing here. I was stoked about this. I hope, I hope you catch the irony here. What we're doing is we're taking a very simple tool, what over the past 50 years has gone down in quality, so much so that now you buy a tool and it's essentially disposable. It's a throwaway item. And they're so cheap and so ubiquitous that there's just no soul to them. What we're doing is we're taking that, flipping it on its head. We're making an heirloom, what your sons, 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 sons will be using. I think this really encapsulates a general fact about our world today and how the superabundance of resources that people have access to has allowed for these two opposing almost paradoxical results. That is, cheap disposable crap on one hand, and on the other hand, the highest level of actualization and perfection of things. In order to produce cheap disposable crap, you need a high level of efficiency and access to a great deal of resources. But the same is true for producing perfected versions of things. The difference is in what motivates the production of each of these tools. The cheap disposable screw screwdriver is made expressly for the purpose of making as much money as it possibly can for the company that, it pro that produced it. It has only to work just enough for people to be willing to buy it. It is barely even a screwdriver. It is the minimum screwdriver. It is almost more so a profitable thing than it is a screwdriver. Yet, this is what products have become these days. Corporations, produced items, corporations produce items for money, not out of necessity or even pride, but for money. According to modern economics, the perfect titanium screwdriver should be an impossibility. It shouldn't even exist. It is not profitable. Yet, it does exist and is unaccounted for by the modern economy. But as I said earlier, I think that this encapsulates a general fact about our world that applies most importantly to people. Sadly, most people are more like the disposable screwdriver than the titanium one. The average pleb pursues knowledge only insofar as that knowledge will help to profit them in their small, hyper-specialized jobs where they are given hyper-specialized tasks to repeat over and over. 
and because of the abundance of resources, they only need to involve themselves in the bare minimum of their potential to understand or to act, because doing so will profit them with an easy, comfortable life. Never has there been more knowledge and resources and raw potential for people to actualize in themselves, and yet never have people led such small and insignificant lives. Yet, at the same time, there are those who do reach for their full potential, who want to make themselves into something like that titanium screwdriver. There are those who see that we have nearly encyclopedic knowledge available at our fingertips and the sorts of resources that our ancestors could not even imagine. We have better techniques, better materials, better understanding than has ever been before. And we have the capacity to put these into work in our lives to become more independent, more self-sufficient than ever before. Our potentials as individuals and as like-minded groups have never been so great. We can build our own homes, produce our own food, our own electricity, our own clean water, and become lords of our own land so much easier than any of our ancestors ever could have. And yet, they were able to do it with less available to them than people today. Will you squander that? Or will you actualize that potential that we're lucky enough to have? And one more point from the video. AVE mentions that the opposite of a disposable thing is an heirloom, a thing meant to be passed down intact for generations to come. Our lifestyles can be seen either as disposable or as heirlooms. It is possible to create a perennial lifestyle that is independent, self-sustaining, and can be basically passed down for generations. But, unfortunately, most people choose to live disposable lifestyles that they have no intention of passing down and will ultimately die with them. And whatever children those types of people bring into the world are also expected to find their own disposable lifestyle that will die with them, and so on. This can even be seen in how people treat their homes today. They see them as mere investments, not things to pass down to their children, but a thing that they will sell when they get older for profit. They have no deep attachments to them. They have become disposable as well. I would rather create a home to be an heirloom with a permaculture forest surrounding it and a lifestyle that my children can also have pride in and pass down to their children as heirlooms. So that's it. Thank you for watching.